Good morning. Hi. How are you? It was absolutely spectacular weather. Not humid. Skies were clearer. Smoke is billowing out of the building. ABC Network News. A plane apparently has crashed into the World Trade Center in New York. We went from a calm, beautiful day to one in which our world changed dramatically. September 11, 2001, was the worst terrorist attack in U.S. history. Now, experience the first 12 hours surrounding the events in a way the world has never seen. Andy Carr comes up behind me and says, America's under attack. And I'm watching the child read. We needed to move the president and get him out of there. He could be a sitting duck. There was a call that said, Angel's next. Angel was the code word for Air Force One. We worried someone in the president's circle could try to take down Air Force One. Every plane had become a missile. One of the targets might well be the White House. All aircraft land as soon as possible. Mother got on the phone. She said, we're outside Milwaukee. I said, you got to be kidding me. What are you doing there? She said, you grounded our plane. In their own words, she told me her plane had been hijacked and the line went dead. <clears throat> and really hit home. Those at the heart of power on that unforgettable day. We did everything we knew to do. But 3,000 people died on your watch. It just gnaws at you. Come together to reveal what happened behind closed doors. She took the badge from her son's dead body, gave it to the president, and said, I, I want you to always remember. I remember the Secret Service screaming, take off your heels and run. We never had a crisis quite like this. Of course, we all were hurting. We all were terrified. The first plane was an accident, the second one was an attack, and the third one was a declaration of war.